Hello there, this is Haku the Bean, and today we are going to tumble. <sighs> and as I might have just now noticed, this month might be the last month I can use the site Reddit without running into stuff that I don't want to run into at all, and I absolutely do not want on my channel. So unless I decide to go back on a decision to ruin the site and make modding that much more difficult for anyone who does not have a computer and or PC on Reddit, I might just give up on this site entirely because giving Reddit free advertisement like I have been, regardless of whether or not I do it it for for them or myself it's not something I'm going to do when they make their site at a cesspool like 4chan or Twitter okay Twitter is a little bit worse so I might be making a return back to SCP and the Ekram's content and I might find some other places to find things that I'd pique my interest. And I suppose I will be make, making trans meme videos based on memes I find elsewhere that are not Reddit. Maybe I can even make videos relating to TikToks I find. Because I do find, it, find some very entertaining. Particularly certain uh, creators like Chicken Nugget or. It's hard to say their name. Asher Garavi? I'm not sure I pronounced that right. I'll find out in the comments. Anyway, let's get into some plant tumbling. If you enjoyed this video, please please leave a like, like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want me to do more tumbling that I'm so addicted to, please give me a good a place to do it. Because it's pretty clear Reddit isn't going to be the place in the future. Now let's get right into this. <sighs> hey y'all, do you want to see a dragon die, Drew? Of course you do, here he is! Anonymous. It said, Suggestion, give Robert a friend. This is Mr. Wiggles. Robert needs a girlfriend slash boyfriend. Is Mr. Wiggles, Wiggles his boyfriend? This is Robert or significant other or Gertrude. Mr. Wiggles is just a friend. Oh my goodness. I love how Gertrude is so detailed and it's beautiful. They are beautiful. I am uh, completely shipping Robert and Gertrude. I mean, that's the canon ship, so I guess OTP. Anyway, older forms of English kept Latin standard specific substances. Tor and tricks. Tor is for men and tricks is for women. So, a male a pilot is an aviator. A male a pilot. A female pilot is an aviatrix. A male fighter is a gladiator. A female fighter is a gladiatrix. This contracts as for the modern system where a tour is for both men and women, and tricks are for kids. You come into my house! <laughs> Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. I did not just quote the freaking commercial that everyone above the age of 10 has seen. 
I mean, heck, you don't even have to be ten to have seen it. I think it's so oh, errors. Dude's uh, Dune is so funny. It literally opens like chapter one. It sucks that I could not understand time cube, and as such could not avoid becoming a genocidal dictator. Young Audrey said to himself, "For me, moral complexity is such a bore. Is such a burden." Chapter 2. Heard any good slurs for poor people lately? Asked the Baron and Harkonnen and Homo actually in knocking back another shot of orphan tears. This one was a lot longer, but I forced myself to cut it back because gravity is a soul of wit, and I was getting in carried away. Give me the rest! Anything for you, darling. Chapter 1. The fact that I will commit unspeakable genocide and lead a holy war or across the galaxy is very bad, said Ed Paul uh, at trades. For me, I too feel morally conflicted by my role in a realistic like eugenics program. I made it his mother, the lady Jessica. Does it make me a bad mother? Who can say? At that moment, the Duke Leto Atris has returned home from a grueling day turning out propaganda to convince his troops that he was worth dying for. His regal face was lined with deep moral complexities. It's tough when you're me and everyone wants to frick you so bad, Ed, he said, but it's a price I must pay for the future well-being of my ancestral house. He sighed, deep in melancholy. When was the last time he'd thrown around the old pigskin with his boy? Would he ever get the chance again? That's fully manual aesthetic space feudalism for you, he thought libertarian Anoli. Paul looked around the room and was struck by a sudden horrific realization that he was the smartest person to ever live, and that even his own loving mother and father could never hope to understand Time Cube. But well, that's a problem for another day, Paul decided. Not for the last time. Chapter 2 It's a beautiful day to be gross and nasty, don't you think? Ed the Baron and Harkonnen, homosexual as he surveyed the ravaged landscape beyond the window, as the rain pelted it against a, a, a glass and vowed to flesh off these shrieking peasants below. Sure, whatever, said Ed Federata, not looking up from his sketchbook, upon which he had scrolled the words, I love killing maiming and, bu and large bubble loud edders. Ah, said the Baron. That was a trick question. Every day is a beautiful day for being gross and nasty. You must learn this lesson well, nephew, if you ever hope to get anywhere in life. I've, I've. Petter, what are you doing over there with that huge and evil friend of yours? <sighs> the mint uh, had violated the haste code six times in the few seconds it took him to reply. I'm calculating a mathematically perfect slur for orphans, he said in a gay voice, just as you requested. Finally, a productive use of your time, said the Baron, and flipped him off. Without word, he snatched a and and from um, it, it, his hand and wrote, and oppressing the populace beneath the words the youth had already written. There, he said, much better. Jeez, these people sound like every CEO ever. I love when the gender options and are male, female, and prefer not to answer. Like it just reads as boy, girl, and what are you, a cop? I don't owe you anything. My gender is come back with a warrant. AMAB, AFAB, and ACAB. Assigned male at birth, assigned female at birth, assigned cop at birth. No, I mean, all cops are bad. I can't say bad words. Not today. My toddler's daycare apparently uses the cleanup song. My husband and I, and I discovered this yesterday when we started singing it, and it activated our kid like she was a sleeper agent, and she immediately started putting her toys away. If you're referring to Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere, clean up, clean up, everybody do their share. And I have you know that remembering the song and having it play in my head, maybe clean up a section of my work workspace, and I am 27. So sleep for Asian codes go oh and deep. No more child actors. 
Children don't deserve to be exposed to Hollywood. From now on, all children will be portrayed by adults walking on their knees. Mother. Sarah, it's ten and a clock. Uh, uh, bedtime, sweetie. Hugh the dragman in a vlog on the wig with pigtails. But mom. Oh. <laughs> okay. I will admit. This just brought back memories of that show, and I love that show. I actually really like the thing where you're starting to get the hang of a new language. You don't have to understand and, and say simple sentences, but you gotta get creative and get more complex thoughts across like a puzzle. I remember at, at a time in the, in the restoration school when a classman who wasn't natively finished did her best anyway, dropped something inside and, and telling me, Every day is Monday this week. I've had four Mondays this week. And I understood. I don't think I speak much of Spanish anymore. But in the nursing school training period, I did there. I did manage to get back without, with making weird hearts and senses. <laughs> I get noticeably at some point and start or another nurse. Not knowing the words humanity or stress, I imagine stringing together. This is okay. It is hot. It is cold. I have a bad day. I am sad. I have blood. This is normal for me. And she understood. And sometimes you just say things weird, but it's better than not saying it. At one time I was stuck in a narrow hallway behind someone walking really slowly with a walker, and he apologized for being in the way. I was not in any hurry, but I didn't know Spanish for a hurry, so but I didn't know enough for it to try to start grid by borrowing the earth. English, I have all the time in the world. The man burst into one of those cackling old mad laughters that they do when something in this world still manages to surprise him. He had to be somewhere between 70 and 100 years old, and I guess if there was something he wasn't expecting to hear today, it would be a rambling, long, vaguely hypothetical looking freak casually announcing that he is sole owner and keeper of, of the very concept of time. <laughs> okay, that, that made me laugh. I'm glad I didn't have to wait until I was 90 to laugh. I've had that one. I literally have a normal since I saw a bunch of Twitter users referring to character death as a death trope. Like, girls, that's called death from real life. Me every morning. Wow, I'm thinking the wake up, ing up trope and the breakfast trope. Is my freaking waking up, putting in a freaking timer for like five minutes, going back to sleep, and waking up five minutes later because I put that timer on and doing the same thing over and over a trope? I think I'm going to call it the insanity trope because it's like I expect a different result despite me doing the same exact thing every single time. I remember reading an interview with a British author. It might have been a Neil Gaiman. He was... Why is this... Yeah, okay, what the heck? That was weird. Anyway, I remember reading an interview with the British author. It might have been the old Gaiman. He was just about to get his book published in the US, and the American publisher contacted him and asked if it was okay if they changed a couple of uh, British words to American. Like flat to apartment. <laughs> What? <laughs> Not wanting to risk a publishing deal, they said sure. A couple of months later, they got the first edition of the US version back and found lines like <laughs> He looked over the apartment landscape and come with me, he said apartmently. Uh, no Gaiman, did that actually happen to you? Pretty funny nevertheless. It did, although it was a it was an advanced reader's copy of Neverwhere, so we caught it before it went out to the public. Universal Find and Replace is never your friend. Agreed, it never is. That's how I made the um, Constitution and a complete meme once. <gasps> I have it right there on, that, on this channel, did I? Eventually, I will do it again. The opposite of Formaldehyde. Is a casual the jackal? Bruh. 
I can't believe I read this post with my own fucking eyes. What, what are you expecting to read this post with someone else's eyes, like mine, that are now scarred with the idea of a cat from the Jekyll? Oh, this is gonna be hilarious. I mean, Tumblr is always hilarious. Well, excuse me, princess, but I think I've got a gust that I better get going to. Ironic, because apparently every princess and royalty of the Legend of Zelda is an incarnation of the goddess, but whatever. Universal and Illumination are reportedly closing a deal to make a Legend of Zelda movie. Goron, voiced by Drain by Dwayne Johnson. I don't know how to do Dwayne and Johnson's voice. Welcome to Goron City. Link looks around in awe as all the Gorons are mining to the rhythm of Queen's We Will Rock You. Whoa, what is this place? Montage continues. A Goron falls in the mud. Mud on your face, you big disgrace. Jeff Snyder, in the town Universal, in the process of closing a deal for the Legend of Zelda, of Zelda movie. Zelda is looking like the next big Illumination Nintendo franchise, which we were all sort of expecting. I'm told that this is happening. Old guy. It's too dangerous to go alone. Take this, Link, Jason Bateman. So, we're just giving swords to kids now. In a cave? That's a thing now? Yes. Just making a collection of these memes. <laughs> Honestly, the thing about trying to make a Zelda movie is that it will never feel right. Because you can't do everything and also not do everything at the same time. And Zelda is all about that freedom of, of, of doing whatever you want. Especially these days. Oh my goodness. Pretty sure Seven Deadly Sins is a bit excessive. Just combine Wrath and Gluttony and make Hangry. Sloth and Pride make Bottoming. Here's the freaking. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is amazing. Alright, alright. So, Wrath and Lust. Makes horny. Wrath, lust, and hangry makes cocaine. Wrath, lust, and envy makes sex robots. Lust and envy makes threesome gone wrong. Lust and en lust, envy, and sloth makes hate sex. Envy and sloth makes voodoo dolls. Envy, Slot, and Pride makes revenge porn. Slot and Pride makes bottoming. Slot, Pride, and Greed makes inheritance receptance. Pride and Greed makes billionaire politicians. Greed and Gluttony makes Whole Foods. And Greed, Gluttony. And wrath. No, wait, greed, let. Wait. Hang on, I'm getting the math wrong. Something's missing here. Something's off. Green gluttony makes whole foods. Greed, pride, and gluttony makes Jeff Bezos. Anyway. Gluttony. Wrath and Greed makes Hot Cheeto Bender. Then all of them together makes weed. 
The ultimate sin is weed, apparently. Okay. That's a lot to try and, and keep track of. I'm sorry. This is a bag where I keep my nightmares. What the heck? This thing is terrifying. I don't know what it is, but it's terrifying. Let's find ocean exploration a bit more. Put it back! Unlike some scoundrels on the site, I was never memed into this like Lemon Demon. If they gave me nil. Oh, see, Erega makes good music as a sen, and then send me straight to hell because Cabinet Man is a freaking banger. I don't know what Lemon Demon is, but I know what Lemon and the artist is, and I know that they made a song I really like. So I'm not gonna dislike them either. Anyway. Great. Now we have a monster fucker flag. Red is for flame creatures, demons another. Brown is for fluffy creatures, werewolves another. White is for undead creatures, ghosts, vampires another. Green is for green creatures. Aliens are for another. Blue is for sea creatures, mermaids another. I will never understand it. Don't ask me to. What? What? No! 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 Wait! No! Enough about my guts. It's time I rearrange my his penis on it, boss. Oh dear. Why do Mook Oogles look like Captain Olimar? Olimar as a furry. Olimar in his persona. This is a chilling photo of an iceberg with red paint smeared on it. The picture was taken on the morning of April 15th, 1912. Realization. Someone explain, please. And the tit it's a Titanic. April 14, 1912, ice field the North Earth Atlantic Ocean. Titanic strikes a, an iceberg and sinks. Rescue vessels converge, and this iceberg is seen with a red and paint smear on the waterline. Titanic's hole over the waterline was red, and everything above was black. You're looking at the iceberg that killed, at minimum, 1,500 people. And by the way, most of those people were just the poor because they dared to be poor. Yes, the Titanic was incredibly classist. That's why it's not a good love story. It's a story of a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. And would it never have happened if we ate the rich. Alright, alright, let's see. The funniest thing about Tumblr, about r slash Tumblr, is you could post the most random crap, and everyone will be like, yep, classic Tumblr. What the heck is that? I hope they are not uh, supposed to be like flavored like celebrities. Like, I don't even understand. What the heck? Hang on, hang on. Making friends with people from other countries is so crazy. I sent my a group chat a big bird and gif. And this one girl says, why isn't he blue? I'm like, the fuck you mean? So they I learned that in the Dutch version of Sesame Street, they do, in fact, have a big, have a blue big bird. 
Honestly, Big Bird kind of terrifi terrifies me these days, and this is actually more scary. I was baffled by this, so I went on Muppets Wiki, and guess what? In Mexico, Big Bird is greed, and its name is, is Avalado. Turkish Big Bird, aka Minikus, is apparently freaking orange. This looks like an alternate, this looks like a fucking alternate universe or something, I can't. Into the Big Bird verse. Oh yeah, I just watched that movie like last night. Hot take, I really don't think we should assign human morals onto animals and call them bad or evil. But Ishbler has internalized the idea that real this idea really well with sharks, and I think that's good. Sharks don't deserve all the fear my readers ever from the media. But can we also please remember to extend it to other animals too? Even to intelligent animals like dolphins, most commonly bottled nose dolphins? No. They are intelligent like humans. They can and go by human standards of morality. I don't care what this person says. I am going to tell you right now. Dolphins are evil. They are messed up. They bully babies for fun. That's like kicking puppies for fun. It's not okay. Anyway, most commonly bottled those dolphins. And orcas. It seems to be a counter to pop culture saying to show dolphins as complete angels when they talk partake in some mess of things. But like dolphins are still animals? They may be able to recognize themselves in mirrors, and they may have language and culture, and know how to use tools, but their intelligence is still on the level of a human child. Yeah, that's the problem. Human children and are still held to moral standards. Even when they're young. You can't really make this argument. I see people talk about how evil dolphins are, but I never see people talk about how about other animals the same way. Like, why aren't sea otters or is under evil as the topic of discussion? You can see otters hold hands, and so they don't drift away. It's so cute, and they and that's that's like, like an angelic thing. It's a reputation and favoritism of dolphins that sucks. They are in fact as cool as sharks, both are extremely unique predators. What makes dolphins so amazing is that a mammal can virtually, unfortunately, evolved like a shark. That's bonkers. Sure, but dolphins are still evil. The morality of a, of a young child is still. Or not to freaking murder small animals. That serial killer or crap. And you're enabling it. Wait, hang on. This is kind of how Noctis is a gun, though. This is my Gantana. Do you like it? Not practical. Not real. Well, photos are chopped. In the first one, there's a shadow cast by the gun to match the shadow cast by the blade. And in the second, the original photo is easily found on online. If you really want a gun tone, then start with a gun toe. If the name is correct, the gun toe is a Japanese military issue sword. And the Nambu gun is. Uh, and this one, and the tattoo is a Japanese military issue pistol. This isn't a sword gun combo, by the way. Just a sword blade with a dead gun where the hilt should be. While looking online for that at black and white photo I'd seen before and but didn't have it on file, I found another photo as well. And in case the image isn't large enough, here's the text. This amazing combination weapon is included for or its curiosity value, since auto there are examples of, of pistols being fitted in with short bayonets or dagger blades. This is a known example of a combined automatic pistol and sword. The pistol is a non move 14th year, the QV, and it should be noted that in the picture, or the trigger group and magazine are both missing. The word blade was some of 29 inches or 744 millimeters long, and the scabbard was modified slightly to accommodate the pistol. In normal sword construction, there is an extension known as a tang around which a hand grip is constructed. Where not at, in this case, the tang is sent out on the side of the of pistol in, in, the, in the sock is not apparent. This is probably a one off construction to satisfy the whim of a, of a traditionally minded officer, but it would seem that the sword blade would have made firing the, a pistol rather difficult. 
While the weight and size of pistol would have made the use of the sword problematic as well, like most combinations, it would have been most unsatisfactory and its statistical value must have been minimal. My emphasis. Actually, that kind of... Uh, I'm just thinking about it and I'm like... If Americans had the fusibility in real life... This scan page shows a similar layout to large formation or my South Amanda reference books, books on my shelves. I don't know the title or author, otherwise it might be worth tracking down to see what other dubious marvels lie between its covers. Whether or not, in this case, the tank is sending down the of pistol into the stock is not apparent. This text suggests that the tank runs under the right side group of the plate and is secured with a amp connected to a peg through its mag a cookie on a health peg hole. Here's a peg hole in the blade tank. And here's the Makuki being knocked out of a katana grip suka so it can be removed. The next blade was secured with two pegs, but the principle is clear. A mounting in blade on just one side of, the, of a pistol grip would be a very insecure method of construction. Asymmetric leverage created a very long blade against a short tank would flex the whole, whole thing loose in no time. Uh, it looks I'd mount it in a clear other shot, the older black rag photo looks more like a tank goes straight down the middle and to the magazine well, and may even have been wedged there with which them to simulate a proper suka. The sword blade weapon made firing is so rather difficult. And then the action was a bolt, not a slide, which worked like this. That's why the writer even there sent that the gun and might fire at all. Because the blade and tank could possibly be clamped to a non moving part of the frame. It's been done in this picture. Which is just manga style art and proves nothing. Good trigger discipline, though. Fill with the real gun and the real risk of negligent. Sorry, better than the real guy and the real photo with the real gun and the real risk of negligent discharge. Yeah, you're supposed to keep your um, finger out of the trigger. Or, um, well, until you're ready to fire your, your weapon. The pistol is illustrated as complete with bolt, bolt magazine and trigger in place, and the blade clamped to one side so the bolt action can operate. That's the artistic fantasy. The reality is that any screws and rivets holding the clamp in place now extend into the, the bolt locking its movement, leaving the clamp where as well as the frame to avoid this and make a goofy peg goes through the top of the magazine well from one side to the other. Blocking any ammo feed except for maybe one rough hand and eat into the breach. Closer inspection reveals that even one round is impossible because the trigger group and magazine are both missing, and also, though not mentioned, the bolt will compare a complete pistol to the hilt. Removing the bolt lets the tank go all the way down the center line of the grip into the a magazine well for a, a much more secure mounting, but it means this is no longer any sort of working firearm. There's no ammunition to fire, nothing to fire it with, and no way for the action to cycle. And no action anyway. If it, it if it isn't a post war freak, as just it was constructed by for one time use and a bonsai charge, which is owners didn't intend to survive. Real gun plates did exist, often for hunting or Look what I can afford, conspicuous consumption. Here's a Polish or Hungarian Caravella a, a saver. And a couple of uh, German right or uh, a short side swords. With a with wheel like pot pistols attached. They're a fancy decorative you suggested these fall into rich boy or toy category. Oh yeah, by the way, these swords were made in fifteen eighty. Just remember, guns have been around since the 1500s and used by other countries, and it's only America that has the, the, the amount of mass shootings that we have. Something tells me there's something else going on in America that isn't just caused by us having guns, because guns have been around, and there hasn't been a lot of gun to uh, un control or really any control in history anyway. So there's something else going on, on over here, like maybe the fact that we aren't monitoring people's health or anything.
But let's keep going into this. This is a long post. Like I explained, it's a lot and has the post as a gun blades, including the Japanese oddity, and it says something about staff design. And that's me, and regardless whether they're a percussion cap, flip lock, or as I see you guys, will lock, all the others look far more sensible. Hey, I get you have this overwhelming desire to show how smart you are, but did you, for once, think when you're ty typing out this drawn-out history lesson? Okay, this person finally calls him out. I was getting so annoyed. This is a joke post, clearly, very clearly in Photoshop, meant and for humor humorous purposes. Maybe my info isn't needed here, or even just, no one believes anything about this post is real. Why am I including this first part? This is so fucking funny. What the fuck? It was funny until this freaking random guy just came in and just took the humor out of it. I'm bored. That was boring. We take no pleasure in reporting that Cracker Barrel has fallen. I don't know what that means. I start screaming, now you're mixed retail all and restaurant establishment. <laughs> I don't even want to go. I don't, I don't want to go to his, his store twice in the same week. They will look at me and and go look. That girl's obsessed with buying groceries. He's like, what a freak. I still think about this constantly. Sorry, Naya. Is it true? They can cure us? Yes, Rogue, it appears to be true. They can't cure us. You wanna know why? Because there's nothing nothing to cure. Nothing's wrong with you. Or any of us, for that matter. There's a cure, as the girl that kills everything she touches. Hey, shut up, we're perfect, replied the girl that makes clouds. For real though, a storm has stopped an entire tsunami before. Make clouds my ass, she could conjure lightning and tornadoes and is re revered as a god in her tribe. She literally changes atmospheric pressure and that's how she flies. So frick you, storm is flawless. I think you missed the part where the girl who kills everything she touches wants to not kill everything she touches and everyone dismisses her incredible misfortune just because the lady who is the avatar of the storm won the freaking superpower lottery. Finally, a cure for my chainsaw hands, the created chainsaw all hands, Joe. There is no cure, said Johnny Five Dicks. There's nothing wrong with us. Thing is, um... The mutants and X-Men are supposed to more or less represent marginalized communities. Whatever marginalized community is convenient to represent at the time. Whether it be people of color, trans people, or in this case, it seems like people all who are disabled, like they have autism or ADHD, like me. And yes, there is no cure for my awesomeness. I'm sorry, you have to deal with it. Hmm. So this whole turn mail into a pro Hong Kong meme to get the lizard band thing is a great idea, but I think we could do more. We could do something that would not only help the movement, but also increase the political and financial pressure on China. We turned Mickey Mouse into a pro Hong Kong anti chat and a, a in ping meme, China was quick to ban Winnie the Pooh for a joke. Imagine how quickly they would ban Mickey if he was used as an actual anti CCP symbol and the resulting in fallout with and pressure from Disney considering the park they just built in Shanghai and all the field revenue they, they sent to make. Perhaps we could even do the same with a few Marvel characters. 
Something tells me Tony Stark would openly and obnoxiously support what the Hong Kong protesters are doing. Are you kidding me? Spider-Man would be all over that stuff. Even Tom Holland's Spider-Man. I don't care what you say. Any Spider-Man would, would be for or Hong Kong. Every Spider-Man knows that Hong Kong is its own country. And so does Mickey Mouse. Uh, <laughs> for a really disturbing image, flip this over. Oh, this PS2 game just flat out gave me the most devastating burn. <laughs> What it feels like when you go for a silly little walk for your silly little mental health? Don Quixado, regarded by many as the first Trini. Why would you say something so controversial? It's so... Oh, brave. John Quixote is the first character to have middle school syndrome, even before the term exists. <sighs> That's what I like to call my my silly arc when I was in middle school. My dad is a diver. He used to dive with seals and he said that they would just play around with you and basically they were just mermaid dogs. Do you think every president goes through awkward first weeks in office when they're not sure when's the right time to ask if aliens are real or not? Not recently, no. I think they're busy sleeping. Or completely running the country like the previous one. Anyway. I look at the PFEs of people liking a drawing of mine and like, oh, whoa, cute emo guy, I want to draw it. So I did. Well, it turns out it was a griller. If I was in a jungle, I would have died badly. <laughs> Magneto, are you interested in drawing my team of mutants fighting for the end of mutant oppression? Sure! What's it called? The Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Why is it called that? Like you all wouldn't be hyped as fuck to join a gay rights club called the Brotherhood of Evil Gays. Yeah, I'd join a rights club called the Siblinghood of Evil Trans. This is an extremely, ex this is an exceptionally valid point. My friend asked me to pretend to be your boyfriend because your parents are homophobic. Okay, if I, if they ended up hating me so much that they were glad when she said she was gay. Task failed successfully. <laughs> Congrats on being so awful a boyfriend, you destroyed homophobia. Honestly, that's amazing. Good job, Chris. I don't like that you got a congratulations from, from Maggie Man, but whatever. Might just be me, but personally, I think it's extra sad when a species named after a person goes extinct. This was our legacy, and now it too is gone. To lose someone is a, is a tragedy, but it brings with it the comfort it does such pain may only be felt for them once, in a way. When a species is named after them and goes extinct, they are lost again, and the pain of losing them is felt again. And it is caused by corporations. Stop blaming ink people, blame corporations. Anyway, let's read this post and it will be the last. I think it's safe to say you could make an entire room of Metal Gear fans jump into song just by yelling standing on the edge of the crater 
that violence breeds violence. The Kong has a funny face. Somebody once told me you had a boyfriend who looked like a girlfriend that I had in February of last year. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Look at this folk. Oh, graph. Every time it makes you. I laugh. Oh, 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 Gangnam Style. What the frick? Do, 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 do. Daytona. Do the Mario. Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go do the Mario. What the frick did I just read? <laughs> Gonna go with this one. <clears throat> Y'all, he is not closing that freaking portal. That's when that and he basically said, yeah. Anyway. If you like that video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I will see you tomorrow with some more or stuff that's obviously going to be from Red for now because we're going to ooh, ooh, keep on going here until the end of the month. And then we'll be going back to SCP content and maybe some crappy reviews. Until I can find a game that I actually can record. Or until I can start streaming. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, goodbye!